Welcome to the Shakedown Sound series. In this series, we're going to share with you envelope filters by some of our favorite manufacturers. Join us on this long, strange trip. FC11 envelope. And before we get into this pedal, I want to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, clicking the notification bell. That way you know what we're up to. You can see the newest episodes and your interaction with us helps us interact with other companies and bring interesting gear. Right. So today we're going to look at an envelope filter as part of the shakedown sound. Right. And um, I, the most inexpensive envelope filter we've had <laughs> yes. in the series. And the smallest pedal we own, I think. Yeah. It's really tiny. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell from the picture, but it's it's pretty tiny. Mm -hmm. Like tinier than the other form factors that are like it. This is something like they won't be able to see that. Right. See the thing that I put there that nobody can see. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to think of a pedal that they would. Well, any of the small pedals, just a little shorter. Yeah, we're harping on that. All right. Um, but yeah, inexpensive. Twenty nine dollars on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Right. There's yeah. no affiliate link down below. Nope. Um, Pat just saw it was like, I want <laughs> right. to try that. And at $29, right. why not? Um, so relatively inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And envelope filters don't tend to be relatively inexpensive. So right. if it sounds good and it's inexpensive, this would be a really nice option for people that want to like fool around with them a little bit um, and get into it without spending a lot of money. And I got to say, I think we throw it out there, the reason you were – like, let's try this is because you've had the flammo delay pedal we yeah. had on on your board mm -hmm. since we did that episode. Yeah. And there's a lot to choose from. And mm -hmm. that's been a mainstay, right? Mm -hmm. All right. It's on there. So whenever we do an envelope filter, we always start off by asking, can it get the sounds from the doodah -dah man? Can it get the sounds from the doodah -dah man? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been. <laughs> I'd say yes. Yeah. It's been I mean, a minute since I've listened to some of the other ones. Yeah, but. that's pretty. Yeah, I think you could get certainly in yeah, that bell part that would make a lot of people happy. And looking down at the pedal, you know what the craziest thing is? It's because sometimes you get a new pedal, you don't know everything about it. You set everything at noon. Well, look at that. The sensitivity is at like 11. Everything else is just about noon. So if you took this pedal out of the box at noon, dude, man shows up. <laughs> Depending on, uh, your pickups, pickups, depending yeah. on your sensitivity. Yeah. Right. I'm going to switch that over to you. Okay. Um, most of this is going to be done on Pat's, uh, well, reference tone. Why don't we do that? And... Yeah. PRS uh, standard 24. Okay. 
Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. And that was the Dol- Michael Dolan custom guitar, the hippie sandwich. <laughs> All right. So we have four knobs. We have a decay, Q, tone, and sensitivity. Let's start with the sensitivity knob. Mm-hmm. So basically... I'm going to read it from the manual, but I mean, basically, so the manual says adjust the dynamic response of the filter based on the input of the instrument. Turn clockwise for more easy picking attack and activating the filter. Turn counterclockwise for less sensitive to pick attack and activate the filter. So basically what this knob is doing, like if we turn it way down and Pat plays, he's probably just going to get like a kind of muffled. Turn it on. (laughs) Turn it on. So, and I actually lied to you a little bit, because if you turn it all the way down, then it parks the tone knob. And so just, we can show this even though we're going out of order a little bit. Right. I kind of oil this chair. It's like, <laughs> um, get new ones. Uh, yes. As you play, I'll move that tone knob real quick just to show them what I mean. All right. Almost like think about cock positioning mm-hmm. your cocking your like the cock wah sound right. right where you position your treadle on your wah pedal. So let's go back to the sensitivity. We have that tone up so you get a little bit of brightness, but you're not hearing the envelope trip. As I turn it up, eventually it will trip easier and then it will trip all the time. Yeah. So and these are pretty hot pickups to begin with, but right, here we go. is going to depend a lot on your pickups too yeah. those are like you said those are hot pickups so you started to hear there got to a point where it wasn't going to really make any more difference the higher you turn it because it was just tripping all the time but when we were down like around here if pat really hit it it tripped but every other time it did So it's finding that sweet pot spot, like where if you hit it light, it's not going to trip it. And then if you dig in a little bit, like, where do you want that? Do you want it to just go? Right. Or do you want to be able to like kind of really control that? One of the nice things about an envelope filter is you can control that. It's a little lighter. You don't get as much of a trigger out of it. Um, the tone, we'll see the Q knob. So the Q knob... We were, jo- we were joking before we started this that we've done 20 some envelope right, filters right. and we still like everybody enables the knobs different. Right. I just. I we were looking at other ones on the shelf. And yeah, we're not just sure we've ever wrapped our head around 100%. Q knob changes the Q value of the wah effect. Turn the clockwise for a higher Q value. This produces narrow band like high frequencies generating exaggerated and pronounced wah sounds. Turn counterclockwise for the lower Q. This would be wide band, low frequency, generating more of a subtle wall effect. So let's turn the cue all the way down and then we'll roll it around and see what happens. Anything about that? I just want to jump to the tune knob, do the same thing. Mm-hmm. 
So I think what's super frustrating to people about getting an envelope filter and trying to get it set up to get that sound they want, it's like if you have a tremolo. You turn the speed, the speed gets faster. You turn the depth, the depth gets deeper. I feel like when you come to an envelope filter, <laughs> they, the knobs work together yeah, more. Right, so like yeah. the Q knob is affected by the tone knob. Mm -hmm. The tone knob is affected by the Q knob. So just rolling that knob like we just did doesn't always give you the best idea of what right. those knobs are doing. Uh, and then the last knob is the decay. Turn counterclockwise for a shorter, longer decay. Turn counterclockwise for... I'm sorry, turn clockwise for a longer delay, counterclockwise for a shorter delay. And um, this also depends on the sensitivity of the settings and the attack of the instrument. So like depending on your pickups mm -hmm. where you have the sensitivity. But if we turn that all the way down and you just hit like, I don't know, the B minor or something and give it a big, let it ring. <laughs> Try it again, really smack it, okay. let it ring, and then I'll turn it and really smack it, let it ring. Okay. Did you hear how, like, mm -hmm. when it was all the way left, it just it, it fell off pretty quick. It was like, mm -hmm. whoop, mm -hmm. and then the other one takes a little bit longer um, to fall off. <laughs> I'm just just amazed at how good it sounds. Yeah. Um, for the the amount uh, of dollars or lack thereof, and just even though they are can be so interactive with each other, it it, it didn't like again that we're back to about where we started, and it sounds good. I mean, even though there's interaction between the knobs, you could set it basically almost at twelve, adjust that to the guitar output, and maybe a little bit of how you want it to trip, and just. Go for yeah, it. and then you you know you tweak a little bit, right. but I didn't think any big tweaks were needed. Right, um, got to a sound that I was happy with pretty quick. Now mm -hmm. when we say sounds from the dude I'm in, you know it's kind of what's in my head. Right, you know which might not be different. Maybe you like the tone from 1978 rather <laughs> than you like the one from the '92 tour or something like that. You know, I mean, right. who, who knows? But. Right. Uh, kind of in what's in my head, and then that's after you know listening to that for a long time, and then playing with an envelope filter on my board for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of going for you know maybe maybe my sound <laughs> right <laughs> more than the dude I'm in, but you get the idea. Um, anything else to add? I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a twenty nine dollar envelope filter, which is unheard of. I think in the world of envelope filters, a lot of times. You would find a pedal in this price range that's more, man, I hate to say this, more of like an Ottawa. Yeah. So an Ottawa and an envelope filter are the same thing. But some pedals have like a speed knob in there that controls how fast. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the cheaper ones are going for like a wah pedal that's being controlled by a speed knob. Sound. Somebody might blast me for saying this. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like some of the small mm -hmm. boxes like this that you find on Amazon for $30, $40 right. are not going for like a true low pass. Band. This would be a low pass filter sound, envelope filter sound. This is not going for like that. This is going for the actual like, think Neutron, think mm -hmm. um, any number of. Mm -hmm. Go look at the series. There's a billion of them. <laughs> um yeah, anything to add before I just keep rambling about it for no reason? No, I was pleasantly surprised. You never know what you're going to get. Right. For 29 bucks and uh, two-day prime shipping. So they do have some other stuff. We've had the delay pedal, mm -hmm. which you really like. Mm -hmm. We've done so much with modulation. At some point, we'd like to get our hands on their modulation pedal. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, always take a minute. Just thank you for watching, hitting the notification, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, clicking the like button. Like Pat said in the beginning, if you interact with the show, it helps us out, uh, helps us interact with other people, get cool stuff in for you, uh, maybe for us. And then, um, you know, check out the website. There is all the pedals in the envelope series are there. Mm -hmm. Tremolo series, that Leslie Sound series, the elect it's Electra series, and some stuff for sale too. So we can bring more stuff in. And with that. 
I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard Reminding, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Thank you.